Welcome to the Easy Grooming. I'm your chef today. We've got some great guests all the way from Detroit Lakes. Please introduce yourselves. Hi, I'm Lisa Pache. Lisa, Lisa, what do you do? Oh, I'm a realtor at Consular Realty. Perfect. Thank you. Kathy Simerson. I'm an adult ed instructor for the school district. Erlene Davis, Meadows on Lind. Kara Schumann, I own a design center in town called Body Da. Well, thank you for coming, ladies. I'm so glad you're here. You know what? It's the summer. We're finally into the summer. It's finally beautiful outside. Everyone's coming to the lake, and yet nobody wants to do any work when it comes to cooking or anything else, right? Exactly. Right? So we're having a great uh, show on Take and Bakes. And today we've got rigatoni. We do these at the Hostel Hornet or at the Speakeasy. You can pick these up anytime you want. Just need to give us a call at 844-1326 or uh, 218-850-3939. Um, today we're doing a rigatoni and it's so simple. And this is something that we do for you. You can take it and pick it up the day before, put it in your oven and set it and forget it. It's, it's just beautiful. Otherwise, you can have it hot and fresh and ready to go for you too. So all it is is some fresh rigatoni noodles. I've got the sauce already here and I've got it hot and ready to go because we're going to be serving all of you lovely ladies. And we're going to just put it in here and we're going to toss this around. Don't need the bay leaf. Toss it around in the pan. I'm going to put just a little mozzarella in there and toss that around too so that it's nice and creamy. And just a little cheddar cheese and then we'll top it with that as well. Can I ask you a question? Go right ahead, Your Lisa. noodles are cooked and I know a lot of times people say they don't cook their pasta noodles in lasagnas or that type of thing. Okay, Which so do you prefer and why? Here is the deal with all of that. Um, question being the noodles are cooked. When you go to the supermarket, you will actually find a no-bake noodle, like a, or a noodle that's, that you can throw into the oven and, and it's all ready to go. Typically, if you're going to do a lasagna or a rigatoni, you do want it to be already cooked off. There's different kinds of noodles uh, that will work whether you want to just place your lasagna's noodles down and put in all the different toppings and put all the different kinds of, of stuff that you need in there, you've got to look for that kind of noodle, okay? Mm -hmm. You can't just typically go and get a lasagna noodle, put it down, put all your stuff on there and bake it up. You're not going to get the kind of a response that you need. So you have got to boil that off. There are noodles out there that are ready to go that you can do that. But you have to look for that. You have to look for that because it is not already there. So if you go into the grocery store and you find a lasagna noodle that needs to be boiled off, it needs to be boiled off. I kept hearing about that and I tried it one day and it did not work. So no. That would be why. That's exactly why. So we're putting a little more sauce down here. This is going to be just amazing. What's in your sauce, Michael? This is our homemade marinara at the Speakeasy with a little meat meat in it. Secret sauce. Like beef no, or sausage meat. meat or what kind of meat? This is ground beef. Okay. A seasoned ground beef. And this is something we have been doing at the Speakeasy and in Moorhead and in the Detroit Lakes area. Well, if you figure in the Moorhead area, it's been over 40 years. <gasps> so your signature sauce. Correct. I but saw a bay leaf. I, I, I picked it up. I picked it up. You missed it. Guess I did. It's already out of there. It's already out of there. So what's the hot thing this summer, Kara, for design? Oh, modern cottage. No. Modern cottage. Modern cottage. It's very what is, popular. What is modern cottage? Tell us, please. <laughs> um, modern cottage is using modern color palette in sort of a modern design within a cottage feel. So it feels real livable. Sometimes modern's hard to live in um, and cottage is a little bit more forgiving. Um, so it'll be softer lines, but clean, not as rustic 
as we've seen in the past. What is like a typical color then? What would you use on that? Um, well, I'm using a lot of grays, a lot of um, aquas and turks, some plums, some rose tones, magentas, orange, yellows. Um, but your palette would be the grays mixing it with some of those. Yeah, using the modern palette of brights. Like, I, I like to work in the third tier of colors because it really is more fun to live in, we'll say, um, than maybe primaries, which can feel too modern, um, and mixing with some of the neutral grays. And so if Lisa is selling this really rustic cottage, mm -hmm. and they're like, hey, we need to redo this, mm -hmm. you're going to go in there and, and suggest already some grays, some plums, and some yellows, or, or greens, or blues. If it sets the tone for that particular space, it depends, of course, on not only the client, but also on the setting. There are some places that um, we do a little bit more modern than we do cottage. In some places we do more cottage than modern. Yep. So the burgundy would likely be out. Well, burgundy is now magenta. Uh, magenta came in several years ago, and this year Pantone's color is orchid, but orchid isn't a color we're all going to live in. It's a color we're going to accent with, I think. Um, in, in this region. So, yeah, burgundy is probably magenta today. Mm. Love it. So this is how the, this is how the rigatoni is gonna look. And this is how it would look, the lasagna would look when you would pick it up before you would bake it. I've done that lots. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Why do you want to work anymore? I'm going to tell you right now, this particular pan is going to amount to four dollars a person that comes with garlic butter and bread. You know, I don't care. I, I can that? tell you right now that you cannot go to the grocery store and make this yourself for that amount of money. You, you can't, cannot. You can't say. You can't. You can't say garlic butter and bread like that. Why? Because you, you want say, some. Garlic water. Yeah, garlic You guys butter. have the best garlic, garlic butter. butter. Yeah. You yeah. can't just say garlic brother yeah. for 40 years. I cannot. No, you gotta butter. say it like it tastes. Garlic butter. Yeah. Yeah. That's it. <laughs> it's not just butter, it's whipped. All of a sudden she thinks she's running the show. <laughs> I don't know where we got this gas. She just showed up on my doorstep. <laughs> and she is definitely taking everything over. This is the way it looks. We're going to throw this into the oven and we're going to be right back after these messages. Welcome back to the Easy Gourmet. So we've got the rigatoni in the oven. This is the take and pick, which you don't have to do a thing. You can get a lasagna, you can get rigatoni, you can pick it up hot, you can pick it up cold, whatever you need to do. Why work so hard? Because I'm going to tell you right now, when you go to the grocery store, you always spend more money than you need to. Frankly, go to the damn restaurants. Can I say damn? No. Can I? Cut. I'm saying damn. Take you, two. Yeah, I'm saying damn. <laughs> that, that damn. Garlic. I'm saying it. I don't care. That gosh You know what? It, truthfully, if you look at all the deals out there, you definitely, especially when you don't have as many kids or anything going on, can spend less money going out to eat than you can going to the grocery store every day. I'm sorry. You can. It's true. So it's true. here you have it. And this will feed your family of 10. God help me, I hope I don't have a family. Yeah. You don't have me Your either. family, my family, and the neighbor's family doesn't make 10. <laughs> wow. Beautiful. And look at how beautiful that mm. looks. Huh? Wow, that looks great. Huh? Spectacular. Yep. You want that nice brown on the cheese, just like a pizza. This is the way you want it to, to look. It looks amazing. There you have it. Sweetheart, grab me your plate. I'm going to give you a little scoop. Well, before we do that, would you like to zoom in on that, Reina? You want me to keep on talking? Is that what you're saying? Okay, so I'm supposed to keep on talking. <laughs> so. Little wine. Yeah. Little wine, little mm -hmm. rigatoni, yes. a little fun. You can pick this up at the Speakeasy or the Hostel Horn anytime you want, hot or cold. It's all ready to go, $4 a person, and it includes bread and garlic butter. <laughs> <laughs> Wait right? <laughs> huh? And here we go. You said that's so much nicer. Got the cheese. Wow. Mm. Mm. There's 
in that beautiful. Thank you. Mm. Arlene is next. Mm. Ooh, Look at that uh, cheese. <laughs> yum. It's all about the cheese, right? Uh -huh. Mm -hmm. so hard every single day and life is too short not to enjoy all these these gifts that are given to us by by the restaurant industry this is something that I need uh, you need to take advantage of any take and bake any any time you can pick it up hot and fresh and ready to go it'll save you so much time it'll save you so much yes. money and it'll save you so much stress <laughs> You know, you don't have to do a thing. And look at this pan. When you're done, you throw it away. Thanks for coming, ladies. And we'll see you next time on the Easy Gourmet.